News Sarah Jacobson investigates what's being done to fix the problem and bring additional water to the county before it's too late. Little Camas Reservoir, located northeast of Mountain Home, is the largest surface water source supplying the Mountain Home Irrigation District. If you live in Elmore County, this is your source for water. This is a recent look at the reservoir. It's bone dry from low runoff from their watershed with no additional water source to depend on. Experts tell me that surface water resources, they're expected to run out for the Mountain Home Irrigation District by the end of June. That's compounding concerns for Elmore County over their groundwater and rapidly declining aquifer. The drought this year is extreme, but Elmore County is no stranger to drought. The bigger issue is below the surface, groundwater. What it comes down to is the fact that Elmore County, Mountain Home, Idaho has no water source. The only water source that, that the communities have is deep well water, but we have no way to re replenish that aquifer and we have no water source. The county is doing what they can through recharge sites. This is a look at the site a few years ago and again now. Depending on where you live, the Mountain Home Plateau Aquifer is declining between one to three feet each and every year. Now this is one of the aquifer's recharge sites. There are four of them in Mountain Home. And as you can see, it's bone dry. In a prolonged drought, recharge isn't dependable. With the declining aquifers, the levels have dropped significantly over the past few years. and. And I would say as the community grows that we're reaching the point of critical mass where if we don't start bringing water in, we're, we're going to have to stop. Stop irrigating, stop development, stop growth. Stop our future. Groundwater levels in the Mountain Home Plateau Aquifer have been declining in portions of the county for more than 40 years. The water table has also fallen 100 feet or more in some locations. They've been getting by but there's, you know, there's an end point somewhere out there. As you drain the bathtub, sooner or later, it's gonna to start to go dry. To put this in perspective, groundwater pumping currently exceeds aquifer recharge by an average of 40,000 acre feet a year. That's over 13 billion gallons of water being lost each and every year. The pumping has been exceeding the natural recharge by approximately 50%. Here's why even those in the Treasure Valley should care. The Ada County Aquifer and the Mountain Home Plateau Aquifer are geologically the same aquifer, running from the lower Treasure Valley through Boise and into the Mountain Home region. There's no physical barrier between these two groundwater systems. It's all part of the Western Snake Plain Aquifer system. But there is hope. And both Commissioner Corbis and Terry Scanlon are actively working to make sure this decline doesn't dwindle further. We'd like to come up with a, an avenue to bring water on a, on a more constant basis, more consistent. They plan to do this through three solutions, all without harming existing water rights. But the cost to accomplish these projects could be in the tens of millions. This is just part one of Sarah's investigation into the Mountain Home Plateau Aquifer and the future of Elmore County's water supply. You can see part two next Wednesday only on CBS2.